Hi there, I'm Chad. This is Steel. Welcome to Road to Riot. Could be in your bathroom. That is a common, that's a common question. Sharpu is not dead. I'm right here, this is your question. Sharpu is a very busy man. He lives in California, he works at DreamWorks, he animates all the time, and he has very little time. He will be back, hopefully by 2023. <laughs> My PIDs are four. I actually used to share them. I don't share them anymore because even if he had the same exact setup that I did, the littlest thing could, could make all of that very different. Even the way you solder your components, everything can create a, a difference in between. I don't give numbers out all the time because it creates more hassle than it actually fixes. But we're gonna do a PID tuning video and that's probably the better thing to do is just to show you what to look for and how to tune your PIDs according to your flying. Am I a meat puppet? I'm a meat puppet. No, I am not a meat puppet, but yes, I am sponsored. So, I don't know how to explain it. I, I don't think people should obsess over it. And I think some people are actually in it for the wrong reasons. It's great, especially if you work with a company that you believe in and that you can collaborate with. I don't think uh, it's all about getting free stuff. It really is about like working with the company and believing in the company that you work with. All of these sponsors I actually approached because I was already using the gear for a long time and I believe in the gear that I use. <laughs> These guys right here, the fat sharks. The Dominator HD V2s. I like the way they are user friendly. I hate their batteries. That is about the only complaint I have is the batteries with fat sharks. I've tried those bigger ones with the single screens, but I, I just I just couldn't get down. I, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, because like that. <laughs> when I use single screen goggles, I generally get motion sickness. But with a double, one per eye like fat sharks have, I don't have any issues. <laughs> I like to use 25 degrees. 30 degrees. I tend to stay around 30, 35. Depends on the environment. The more tilt that you've got, the faster that it forces you to fly because you want to keep things level. I haven't actually flown anything higher than 35 degrees, but I know from experience that flying more than 30 degrees for me is disorienting to do acro with. So I like to run between 25 and 30 degrees for most of my acrobatic freestyle flights. But what I think is something really important that people generally don't talk about is the angle of your head. I like to keep it 90. When it gets serious, I like to keep it a little higher, maybe a 90 degrees up. And sometimes if I feel like it, I sometimes angle down because it seems to help for some maneuvers. If you do like to go fast, you don't have to have as much of an aggressive tilt if you have a wide angle lens. The lens size that I use is currently 2.8 millimeter. Always remember guys, it's not only the camera, it's also the tilt of your head. GoPro. 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 Hero 4 Silver, the one with the little screen on the back. The screen on the back is actually really handy so that I can actually look at flights. Hero 4, black. If it's lower light, I'll shoot in a lower frame rate. If it's higher light, I'll shoot in a higher frame rate. Protoon. I set my ISO at 400. I've been changing the GoPro color to flat because that then allows me to play around with the uh, color correction a little bit more later on in post. <laughs> You're a video guy. Google it. Yeah. <laughs> Hero 4 Black, best settings for YouTube because that's where everybody puts them on. I cut all my videos in Final Cut Pro 10. I personally use Premiere Pro since I started studying animation and that's probably like 15 years ago. And I export it to Compressor and I actually was recommended this by Chad Noack. It's, I think it's 264H or something like that. What does that mean? Essentially what you the- You can't be in his, you're gonna have your own. H264. I'm gonna leave now then. Basically just the settings that YouTube requires. So if you Google that, I can't tell you exactly what it is. Keep going. Okay, he's tweaking my settings. If you don't give them exactly that, then they will re-encode a second time, which gives the grainy look. I fly in between 15 and 50 batteries a week. If I can fly like once a week, that's pretty good. I actually really only get to fly maybe like once every two weeks. It varies. A decent day's flying for me is 24 packs because that's what I carry in my battery case. I don't have a lot of time to fly. I found one spot that I know works really nicely in the mornings. I skip the gym, mm. nobody needs the gym anymore. And then I will go straight to work. It doesn't impact your regular schedule and get your batteries in, have a, a few flights. The park might not be the most amazing epic location, but at least it gets me that stick time, which is what everybody really needs. If I'm lucky and I go maybe three days during the week in the mornings, 
I probably can get a good uh, 10 batteries during the week. I'm using the 210 a lot, so easy to build. I know what to spec from it and I know how it flies. Boom! The Vortex Pro. An Impulse, Impulse 5 inch, inch Alien. I have a Kiss FC, Kiss 24 amp ESCs, Lumineer 2206 2350 KV motors, TBS Unify Pro transmitter, the 800 milliwatt one, Triumph. 5.8 gigahertz antenna, SBUS X4R receiver, PMP50 OSD, and then I run five volts out of that to my HS1177 camera. And then for props, I use HQ5040 tri-blades. And then I'm trying new things from Luminier, testing some new stuff that will come out. I don't stick to just any one particular frame. I like to build my, my quads for specific purposes. I'm coming to your country this weekend. So get ready, I don't have anywhere to stay, and we're all gonna be friends and we're gonna have a good time. I would love to go check out your hometown, wherever the case that may be. Rotorite is trying to do that as much as we can. The problem is logistics, time, and finance. When we can arrange it, we will. Meeting up new people, hanging out with new people, and, and just flying around cool places, that to me is like the priority. Promote the hobby, share some knowledge. Rotorite will be traveling in the future. We will be posting it online and we will let you know. <laughs> Cheers guys, thanks very much. Don't be a stranger, if you see me out there in the real world, come up and say hi. I, I, I love to hear your story and I love to connect with you guys. I wouldn't be where I am without you and I'm really glad that you like what I do. I never thought in any time, any point in my life, I would have followers and a sword fight going on in the background. All right, I guess we're gonna wrap this up. Thanks guys. Great, anything else? Fuck you. Okay, hold on, wait, wait, okay, yeah, yesterday? No, tomorrow, okay, wait, all right, yep, no, tomorrow, yes, no, yesterday? Okay, all right, I gotta go, bye. Gotta go, bye. Whew. That was impressive.